Welcome, everybody. You ever feel like your life is just too complicated? There's too much family drama going on? You don't know who you love sexually and who you're related to? Sometimes it's both. Welcome to the attic. It's Mises Peasies. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a dear listener here. What? Welcome, dear listener. Oh! Welcome back. Oh! Um, hopefully you just went through the trash end of the Castile series. The real hill scum was Tony. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's not talk about that. We're not here to relive the past. No, we're here, we're just to, here to relive We're just here to apologize for it real quick. We're here to relive. <laughs> yes. It was upsetting for some folk. Mm. Others... It just, we just laid back and took it. Um, oh, wow. wow. So we're here at the. We're in. We're at the dawn of a new day. Oh, wow. <laughs> here we are at the hotel. We're at the hotel now. We're at the hotel of, yeah. of uh, the hotel that is in the first book. The Cutler series. The Cutler. We have moved on to a new family that, of, I don't know, might be, have similar storylines. So I'm going <laughs> to flap it. And I'm going to ask you to think about this flap. I think about flaps often. Because I thought there was a big old spoiler in here. And then I reread it and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, maybe there's not. Maybe I just know mm. what's what. Because I, I kept noting like, oh, that would have been fucking good to know if it weren't for the spoiler on the flap. Mm. But then I reread the flap and I was like, well, maybe I just presumed. Oh. So Presume, presume here we are. Blah. At the back flap of Dawn, which is the Dawn. first book. We'll get there. <laughs> the first book in the Cutler family series. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, in her fine new Virginia school, Dawn Longchamp feels happy and safe, but nothing is what it seems. Now Dawn and her older brother Jimmy have a chance for a decent, respectable life, and Dawn's secret precious hope to study singing can come true. Philip Cutler, the handsomest boy in school, sets Dawn's heart on fire. She is deeply devoted to her brooding brother, but with Philip, she imagines a lovely dream of romance. Then Dawn's mother suddenly dies, and her entire world begins to crumble. After a terrible new shock, she is thrust into a different family, an evil web of unspoken sins. Her sweet innocence lost. Humiliated and scorned, Dawn is desperate to find Jimmy again and strip away all the wicked lies that will change all of their lives together. This was, I had a different flap. Oh, no shit. Yeah, I had a different flap. Okay. Where's your flap? You didn't bring your flap? I didn't bring my flap. I, uh, we, we, and we are, I'm Katie. Oh, I'm Tia. Hi. Welcome. You know. Welcome, dear listener. Because there's one of you. To, you know. to VC's Pieces Podcast. V- if, if you've tuned in, hopefully it was on purpose you knew to that. this. Oh, well, you yeah. know, Accidental's great, too. Yeah. You are on Thank Apple, you. Hey, if you're on Apple Podcasts and it said you might like, I don't know what you're listening to. Um, but you're also, welcome. Welcome. Here. <laughs> I had a different... We love thrift books, mm-hmm. and I just go, I get the cheapest one, mm-hmm. um, and it's a big old hard mm. hardback. So it's an one actual, hard boy. It's an actual flap, ah. and I, I'll have to bring my flap next time. Okay, sorry. We're gonna so, edit. We're gonna edit in Katie reading the other flap. Perhaps if we don't, you'll know because it's immediately gonna talk about something else. Yep. Okay. Cool. So <laughs> here we go. We're dip, dip, dipping in. We got Dawn Longchamp. Um, whoops. <laughs> I always read as Dawn Longchamp. Huh. Dawn Longchamp. Dawn. Don Long Chomp. Long Chomp. They are a rundown cottage type of family. Yeah. They're a rundown. They op- we open in a rundown cottage, and they are a rundown cottage type of family. Who do we have? We got uh, Daddy Long Chomp. Daddy Long Chomp. Ormond. M- Mama Long Chomp. Mama. Uh, uh, I'll get there. What was her name? Sarah Jean. Sarah Jean. Which was not a name I expected for some reason. I don't know why. Sarah Jean. Mm. I don't like it. I don't like, You're like we'll it. We'll talk about it in a minute. The minute's right now. I don't know. It's so like, <laughs> I'm Sarah Jean Longchamp. What a stupid name. Yeah. I'm sorry if your name is Sarah Jean. And then. Brother Jimmy. 
and brother Jimmy, who's like a year older 16, than her. Two, I think it's 16 and 14. Yeah, two years older. Yeah. And they always have to share a pull-out bed. So let me tell you, we open, we open on the Broke Down Cottage. They move around a lot. Um, they move around a lot. So there's, uh, you got two teens in VC fashion sharing a pull-out mm -hmm. situation. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, they, not yet. They never uh, share the pull-out situation, unfortunately. Uh, not yet. Um, <laughs> a pull-out sofa type of futani experience. So this is a fam that is, I think she said they're no better than homeless gypsies. Yeah, we don't Which use we don't that word that anymore. We don't say that anymore, FYI, kiddos. Uh, for you young folks listening, gypsy is not a nice thing to say. But For your is, older folks listening, too. Gypsy is not a nice thing to say. Why do you keep saying it? So that they know what they can't say. <laughs> oriental gypsy. Ooh. Definitely not an oriental gypsy. <laughs> oh. So they move around a lot. Never it starts with them, like, packing and yeah, leaving like, let's in the middle let's of the night. Let's fucking go. Uh, not unlike uh, the Foxworth run from Foxworth Hall, when it was just, like, instantly, let's pack and get the hell out of here. Mm. Um... Why does Daddy Longchamp uh, need to go all the time? We don't know yet. Not we, yet, but let, there's no pretext, is there? There's no, we, like, he's a drinking man. He, yeah, he's it's like, just like... He's like, let's go and go! Yeah, I think that it's kind of implied that he's always, like, uprooting for, like, a different job, or he got in trouble with a job, so, like, they had to leave so they could go to a different job. So they kind of, yeah. Hand, blow, we don't know. <laughs> Giving, receiving, Foot. again. Uh, f Ooh, there we go. That's yeah. spicy. Yeah. If you got athlete's foot. Um, <laughs> uh, page fucking four, we have a bosom exposing a nightgown. Yeah. Page fucking four. Yeah, they. it, it was it really... bosom town. It was there. It was... Whop. With your your 14-year-old bosom, with your 16-year-old brother, just just in a... under a coverlet. One coverlet. One single... It's just an eyelet, actually. It's not even a coverlet. Oh, it's, an eyelet. it's very see-through. Yeah, it's just a whole. It's a piece nothing. of like it's a piece of like one of the wooden lattice pieces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With like a nip sticking out. Yeah. Anyway, climb those vines. Oh. <laughs> so like, how though? Is it like when is it like when you sleep in a cami and your titty pops out? Yeah, I'm guessing because it did. Because she was like, I woke up and my my bosom was falling out. Yeah, falling, just falling just out, falling out, and like a high waisted like nightgown, high wa high necked, high, high, neck. high like how your waist is under your chin. That is very high waisted. <laughs> I pull my jeans up that far. I tuck my titties in the waistband and go. I was wondering what that shape was about. I was wondering how you achieved that. Now I know you guys have all learned the secret. <gasps> um, how does her little teenage titty pop out? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm guessing it's like a tank top sort of situation, but we won't know. We never know. Um, I don't know. Because I was picturing like a nightgown with like sleeves. Yeah. So I don't. Um, Maybe don it was like a night shirt that was buttoned up. Like a, No, so, her bosom. I mean, her bazooms. No, I know, but maybe like it was a button up like night and a button shirt popped and like they just came undone during the night because she was like sleep stripping. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody better details. come get her. She's <laughs> sleeping like a stripper. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <stupid>. <laughs> so they, she does reference. Um, we have rounded out the three body types because Dawn describes herself as a china doll, a delicate yeah. doll. So. If you take nothing away from this, dear listener, the three body types in a V.C. Andrews story are Lurch Lady, Puddin' Pile, Delicate Doll. Tag yourself. I'm not delicate, and I'm not tall, so I'm a Puddin' Pile. Yeah, I guess I'm a Puddin' Pile, We're Puddin' too. Piles. Tag, let your friends know. They, there's, there's no other option. You do have beautiful, delicate bone structure, though. Thanks, yeah. but I'm not a delicate doll. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Puddin pile. Now I'm gonna tell you in this book and the next one, um, I don't know if the third because that's a fucking trip. It's slow going. There's there might be some there's there's gonna be some more delineation, subtle delineation mm. between the body types. Did you note that? Yes. I did. <laughs> um. So China doll, three body types. Uh, it was noted that Jimmy was born all crunched up like a fist yeah what the hell does that mean i found that in this one there in the next one 
there are some metaphors that some are fucking weird, confusing. Weird ass metaphors, yeah. All crunched up like a fit, like a fucking newborn. That's how they are. But like, I wonder if it was like, you you know, in gr- Gremlins, when like Gizmo pops out the baby Mogwai from his back, and they're just like a tight ball. I'm picturing that, like a popple. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just like folded in on himself. He like, came out the size of a walnut, and then put him in a glass of water and expanded. He got bigger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, they definitely um, there's accidental brushing on the sofa bed. Hmm. Hmm. It's like, oh, it's thrilling, but dirty. It's thrilling. It's it's thrilling, but it shouldn't be. Tingles, not noted, but we know. We know. We know where the tingles go. Genitals. Um, Where's my tingly gents? Mama, mama gets preg- pregnant. Yeah, and everyone's pissed. Jimmy's very real. Brother Jimmy's very realistic yeah, about he is. this. He's, he's like, like, well. He's like, well, we barely fucking eat, but I guess you can have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and Dawn's like... Don't they have to plan it? And he's like, oh, Jesus Christ, Don. No, right? that's not how it works. <clears throat> what do you mean? You, is this not in the plan? She's like, it can happen by accident? How? And he's like, oh, my God. I'm not explaining this to you. Yeah. For real. Which, thanks. It's a delineation from Chris. Ah, I don't like to talk about him. Who? Christopher. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Mama Longchamp has a creamy pearl necklace. Did you notice? Yep. 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 No. Mm. Is there any other piece of jewelry that exists? Uh, Very, very, like, extravagant diamonds. Diamonds exist. Or or a piece of jewelry that has, like, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds in it. Oh, like, all of them. Oh, teacher, teacher, yes. And lockets. 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 Lockets, creamy pearls, diamonds, ipso ipso facto, and other gems. But it's always, like, yeah. Like, it's always, like, a cacophony of either straight diamonds or a cacophony of all the other gemstones. Yes. Um, creamy, creamy. Okay, pearls. okay. So there is a point mm. where Dawn, Dawn Long, Champ. where Dawn Long Champ, she wakes up at the ass crack of dawn before anyone's up and decides to just get up. Ass crack of dawn. Ass crack of dawn. <laughs> I don't know if it was because baby was up or she was up, but this is what I notated that she got up early and was like, "I'm just gonna be up, you know. I'm not gonna wake everyone. I'm just gonna get ready." Gets fully fucking nude. Yeah. Goes to the dresser that's on Brother Jimmy's side of the bed and then decides to choose her outfit while fully fucking nude. And then is like, he looked at my side boob. What? (laughs) He just opened his eyes. It wasn't planned for him. What? Don't get fully nude. (sighs) Or get fully nude, but don't be surprised if someone is sleeping and then wakes up with their side to in your in their face like you kind of put it there if you're concerned about your puberty Mm -hmm. puberty in close quarters with your sibling (laughs) and i hope none of you are (gasps) you know we don't know where we're our reach is how far we're we're reaching around the world maybe you're in close quarters and Uh. it's fine but be mindful of your nudity. Yeah, not if body unwa- shaming. We're not body shaming. But if you're concerned about sibling tangles, stay clothed. So change in the bathroom. Just change in the, change in the bathroom. Change in the bathroom. And then, yeah, like Dawn feels like, maybe, I'm assuming, feels like the living room is like her like private bedroom. No, that's the fucking living room. <laughs> you don't get to be nude there. There's one place you can be nude and it's the bathroom. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry, little Dawn. <laughs> sorry. Like Grandmother Foxworth. I'm just saying. I know, I know, I know. She was like, wow, oh my God, I can't believe he woke up and it opened his eyes. I'm just saying that Sally Jean's an unexpected name. Okay. She was Mama Longchamp, Mama, 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 for a long time, and then she was Sally Jean. Yeah. I think it was the double name that surprised me. There's been quite a few of those going on. There's a lot also in this book. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. Where are we now? Where are you? So, after Fern is born... Fern. Fern. Baby Fern. Baby Fern. Oh, by the way, like, when uh, Daddy Longchamp finds out that Mama Longchamp is pregnant, he just, like, pisses right off and drinks all of the rest of their money for the week. And Don has to go down to this stinky-ass bar. stink bar. And, like, pull him out. Because um, Jimmy won't for some reason. Because Jimmy's, Jimmy's like, dude, just fucking let him do whatever like, he needs to do. Money. Yeah. And he's like, don't go to a bar. He's like, it's just embarrassing. Let him, let him find his way home. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm with Jimmy. I think he's great. So, yeah, Jimmy, yes. 
And the, Jimmy's early story arc is a little like, but then he comes out at the end. Yeah, Jimmy's early. Yeah. Um, so after the baby is born, Fern, uh, Mama Longchamp kind of doesn't really like bounce out of it. Not in a way that she's got like um, PPD. Or PPD, anything. no. Um, she's just like sickly. She's just kind of like wilting. She's physically sick. Yeah, she's just wilting. She's pale. She's losing weight. Um, Daddy Longchamp is like, sick, guess what, guys? I got this job being a janitor to this fancy school. And now you guys get to go to a fancy school for free. Uh, what fucking year is it? They never say. I couldn't figure this Endless. one out. There was nothing. I have something to say later that is like WTF. But nothing, there's no touchstone, there's no cultural, like, no. nothing. There was no pajama game in this one. Not in this one. Um, but they were pajama mm. games. Oh, <laughs> siblings. Um, maybe. So, <laughs> but also yes, in more ways than one. Anyway, so, no fucking idea what year it is. No. No idea. No idea. Time, the timelessness of a VC. Because I wrote that, I have that more than once. What fucking year is it? And and it's hard too because this one especially, or I feel like as it's gone on, I don't know if it's just because it's it's Niederman or something. Like people's clothing are always described as like like a blouse with a matching color skirt. And people just wear one fucking color. He's like does not know how every women skirt dress. is pleated. Every skirt is pleated. There's have like, you noticed that? I have noticed there's that. There's a blouse or a sweater with a matching colored skirt. The end. Everything. You're just like, okay. Like, I just, there's no, it's an amorphous shape of a person. Does someone have a maxi dress? Don't know. No, Dung- Dung- they sure don't. Dungarees, perhaps? Never. Never a dungaree. Never a dungaree. Never a dungaree. Never. Never. Fucking never. Only on the gentleman's. That's how that would be described on a, on a lady part. Character. What? On a lady character part person who plays a lady person. He, they would probably be described as a dungaree. Really? I feel like that. They wouldn't say jeans. Why? I don't, because it's timeless. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, fine. Sidetrack. Yeah, so they, uh, so Daddy Longchamp is the head of maintenance of yeah. fancy private school. And as a condition of his employment, his children get yeah, uh, free. free tuition. Great. Yeah, and Jimmy's like, this sucks. I don't want to go sit with some rich kids. Also, they meet the principal who's just a fucking bitch. She is, as noted, tough as raw bear meat. Yeah, what does that mean? If we're going to start in with the metaphors that don't make any fucking sense. That's the second one. Raw bear meat. <laughs> if we're going to start in with number two. <laughs> raw, raw, raw bear, bear meat. meat. All uh, right. So I, pretty soon, I, like, she meets this, like, bitchy girl named Clara Sue. And I was like, oh, okay. oh no, I got more of Mr. Turnbull. Oh, sure. Um, so she's like, your name's not Jimmy. It's James only. James only, no nicknames. Um, she makes a big deal about how the board of trustees approved these kids, but was it not like a benefit to the employment? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she just hates these poor folk, and is like, um, you're here under condition, which is also board. why I'm confused as to why they would let the maintenance man bring his children to the school for it's free. Like, no, it's like a thing. Like if you work at a university or anything, oh. like your family, your it's a thing. immediate it's family a thing. Can So she had nothing to do with it. She had nothing got to do it, with it. it. And she's being a dick knocker about it. <laughs> knocking um, dicks. She is knocking dicks. Knocking um, dicks. Slapping yeah. salamis. Yeah, the tuition comes to the job. I mean, like it's fairly standard. Okay. I did not know. Um, Thank you for telling me about private schools. We meet. So they go, they hustle off to class. Jim Jam is like, <laughs> fucking like a buzzsaw ready to go off at all times about oh, yeah. how like you fucking think you're better than me you're not fucking better than me i mean i appreciate that and i also Dawn's get like, it for like a teenage boy who's been moved around sure. a lot and like they don't have nice clothes and like the Dawn's other kids. like hey this is an opportunity for us can you be chill and he's like you think you're fucking better than me 24 <laughs> 7 not wanting people to think they're better than him mm. we do diverge slightly um, when Dawn pisses off to her first class with us, she meets a, a friend-ish person who, this is where we start, where not everyone is a perfect China doll. Mm. So it's like, I, I screenshotted this. When she stood next to me, I realized how tall she was. She had a long, bony nose and thin lips, but her t- timid eyes, okay, <laughs> held more warmth than anyone else's had yet in this school. So we're getting things that are slightly not 100 perfect. 
She has. Yeah, they mention noses that are too long. That's not the first she too has long nose. T- timid eyes. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I, I could I couldn't I tell you what that's supposed to fucking um, mean. At they all. hide way back in the skull. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be coaxed. It's like a snail. Like the oh. snail is just re- they're retracted. They're retracted in inside. They're timid. They're timid. She's waiting for a, a gentle rain. And she's like, Oh, let's go to gym. Great. And Dawn is a fucking goddamn moron about other people smoking. Can we talk about this? It's obvious that popular girls are smoking and the gym teacher's like, What's all this? And they put the cigarette in a locker, and Dawn's like, I think there's a fire in the locker. You fucking moron. Oh. She no. honestly thought she was helping. She thought that she wasn't, like, she thought, like, oh, no, she's wrong. No one's smoking. It's Something a fire. Wrong, it's a yeah. fire. She's just naive. No, but it's she's a- naive. She's not an idiot. She's naive. And then, um, so that's Clara Sue. Clara Sue, popular. Clara Sue, Clara Sue, Clara Sue. So as soon as they were, they were like, Clara Sue Cutler, I immediately was like, okay. So the surname for Dawn is uh, Longchamp, but this is the Cutler series, huh? Mm. Okay. Okay, that's something. Like, well, mm. like immediately you know, like immediately you know something. I can't wait to read you my back flap. I'd love to read your back flap. Mm. <laughs> it's detailed. Can I stick my nose in your back flap. Hope so. Yeah. Um, and then Clara Sue. <sighs> the the. First time of many, she's like, it's fine, it's fine. I was just messing with you. We're going to be friends. And Dawn's like, okay. Shame, fool me once. <laughs> Shame on me. Hold on, let me just, so there's hold a com- on. There's a, com- oh, yep. It's for you. Just chug it back. <laughs> uh, a completely believable about face from Clara Sue being nice. Um, <laughs> and like a totally real apology. Come on, Dawn. Not there are even. no. There are caddy girls in public school. There are bitches and queen bees and caddy girls. I know she just moved around a lot, and yeah. I think she probably expected, especially since Jimmy was so negative about how everyone's going to act. She was just like, "No, you know what? Give them a chance. Just because they're rich doesn't mean they're going to be mean to us." And like, so probably seeing that, like, "Hey, you're right. It was a mistake." She was like, "Oh, see, this is going to be great." I think she was just too optimistic. All right, all right. Little naive little fourteen year old. Enter after gym class. Flaxen haired Philip. Well, everyone's fucking flaxen. And, and cerulean. Enter flaxen and cerulean Philip. Um, I can you tell me if you caught this? It for a hot second switches from the first to the third person. Yep. Yep. Are we like like comparing? I got it. I got it. All right. All right. So it switches abruptly. Like, so it was like just then I saw Jimmy come in. And then a full paragraph. This is Philip Cutler. Said Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> Nothing. Then, this is this is out in the world. Is there this one? This is Philip Cutler said Dawn. I reread it like six times, and I was like, yeah, "Wait, I, is this one yes. not in first person?" For it, it I had one like a little mini stroke. Yeah, <laughs> small for one second. Um, so cringe from Philip, who says, "Your eyes are almost as pretty as my mother's." That's not something <laughs> you want to say to a lady. Well, immediately when he sat down, I was like, "Oh my god, they're a brother." Okay, and then I was like, "Why the fuck did?" The parents go to Richmond. Why did you think that they were immediately siblings? Just because they looked similar and she was like, oh, I was kind of drawn to him and like... Because mm. cause the last name was fucking Cutler. She's going to school with two mm. Cutlers. It's a Cutler series. But also, why everybody got to be Flaxen and Cerulean all the time? It would have been... Cool. Have you looked up what color Cerulean is? I actually have not. Nobody's fucking eyes are that color. Hold on, dear listener. I'm going to Google Cerulean no, so okay you can but see. I'm no, 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 say, no, no. You can do that while I talk. <laughs> it, yeah, uh, that whole like, oh, your eyes are as pretty as my mother's. If I hadn't been like kind of knowing that spoiler was going to be coming, that would have been a, a cool nugget to toss yeah, out. Yeah. But also, parallel to that, if you want to feel like you want to feel feelings in a tender, groinal nature to a lady, don't be like, you look like my mom. Yeah, seriously. Cerulean. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's very electric. It's, you, like, you, it's you. like a freaking pool liner. No one's eyes are this fucking color. Okay. Ugh. That pissed me off. Um, cringe. Uh, <laughs> she has a perfecto singing voice. Oh, yeah. Like a perfection. Like a songbird of the night and morning. Uh. Yeah, so that's good for her. Because she, when she was born, the birds were singing. So. And that's how uh, Sue uh, Dawn, mm, Sally, Jean. Yeah, Sally Jean knew that she was going to be a singer. Because the first thing she you also, see. She knew that Jimmy was going to be a, a champion 
fist dominator and fist people in the ass oh. because he was crunched up like oh, you spoiled it <laughs> sorry <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> fucking rams his fucking fists and assholes um no doctors for mama she's sick yeah she is a a lady of home remedies and no doctorings so there's that um do you did you want to speak to anything before we get to philip going on a car date yeah, well, Louis, like her friend Louise, that was like kind of like who has the the one with the timid eyes timid in the eyes. back of her skull. Um, she sees her talk. She sees uh, Don talking to Jimmy, and she's like, "Careful, like don't go all the way." And Don's like, "All the way where?" Talking to Philip. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. What did I say? Talking to Jimmy. Yeah. No. Philip's got a reputation for fucking. Yeah. For fucking. He gets um, a girl pregnant a month, says Clara Sue. Oh, yeah. Clara Sue, brother, brother, sister, Clara Sue, Philip. Now we know. So they go on a car date, I believe, Philip and uh, Dawn. And one kiss in, Philip is moaning and grabbing titties. Yep. Just like wham, wham, honk, boob. He somehow convinced her, again, naive little girl. He's like, no, we're just going to look at this view. And she's Isn't like, really? Cool? Is that she's it? like, that is cool. That's great. It is a nice thing. And he's just like, oh, how many boyfriends have you had? She's like, none. He's like, oh, I'm going to kiss you. And she's like, oh. I don't know. He's like, uh, just, just relax. <laughs> just relax. He, it is noted he has thick, spidery fingers. Yeah, what does that? It's sinister. Like, it's like a sinister, it's for a sinister overtone. Grabbing, grabbing like spideys. Um, and he's like, I want to be the one to teach you things. Uh, Honk, no. Oh my God, I hated it so much. <laughs> and then she was like, hey, hey. And he's like, okay, we can slow down. Let me just like fucking try to get all up inside your shirt. I don't have, second later. I'm not going to honk over the shirt. I will honk under the shirt to respect you. What? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I didn't realize that you really didn't have boyfriends. Like, don't worry, we, we can reel it in. And like, it immediately does not reel it in. No, he goes, he reels it out. Yeah, that might be something that is about Philip. I don't know. Jimmy is suspended. Yep. For fighting. Um, yeah, he's fighting. He does a fight. I don't remember why, but he does a fight. Um, yeah, I think, more. oh, it's because um, the other boys were talking uh, about Dawn. Because uh, she, she went, she went, because Dwan Longchamp went on the ride with Philip. Dwan Longchamp. And went they were saying that she was slutty, and so he got a fight with them. Um, and they went to um, <clears throat> talk to Daddy in his office. They go to Daddy's office, and. Um, he, uh, Daddy's like, well, he's just like he's just like his uncle Ruben, who's in jail. And Don's like, you have a brother. Fuck? He's like six. So this is this is more like nature nurture talk, which is a bit of a VC trope. So like we got Uncle Ruben, who's no good. So then it's like, oh, he's just like his uncle Ruben, yeah, whom good. he's never met, yeah, and has a completely different life of, yeah, <laughs> just like him. <laughs> Also, Daddy Longchamp's like, uh, you went on a ride with this uh, Philip Cutler fellow. Philip Don't Cutler, Philip, Philip you, Cutler. You, you can't. Uh, you can't. You're forbidden because you're related. There is breast grazing from Brother Jimmy um, at but some yeah, point. Because he runs away and then he comes back like all wet. And Don like, Don, like helps him get dry and put in clothes. I don't and then like she, the like, seductive way you're mm-hmm. helping this imaginary mm-hmm. brother. Imaginary mm-hmm. brother. And then she falls asleep like horny about him. Like titty great. Like they brush. They like brush mm-hmm. a nip. Maybe. Just one. But, however, um, sidebar, we've gone from late fall to early spring, and Mama still has her mystery illness. Yep. She does promise to go to a doctor. Never does. Um, and I would like to notate that Don ha- has a little more agency over her sexuality than protagonists. Yep. Yes. Like, Philip will drop, like, a sexy remark, and she's like, I was surprised, but I was kind of into it. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> she's like, oh, okay. Yeah, she's like, oh, oh. That feels like, like, like really, she's really having puberty. She's, like, feeling her oats a little. Mm-hmm. It was the go-go 90s when this came out. Yep. So, like, I don't know. It'll be, like, Philip will be, like, on play strip poker. And she's, like, what? Oh, oh, she's, like, oh, I can't believe you said that. I can't believe I said that. Maybe. And I was, like, fucking maybe. <laughs> so, like, she, I'm, I'm into this growth as a, maybe a new trope. Who knows? Um, oh, P.S. Okay. At this time, frowny emoji. Oh. Mama stops washing her hair. Oh, we hate that. Oh, no. That means something is... When bad, someone's hair, bad. when someone's hair gets dull, gets dull, ugly. At some, if someone uggs up, yeah, oof, oof. Um, so mama's mama had to go to hospital. Yeah, but Don Don gets a solo, 
And Clara Sue's fucking pissed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and this uh, whole sub, sub something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, Cause like, was Clara Sue the best singer before she, I don't know. She, she probably wasn't, there. but she got like the solo she last year. She thinks she is. Yeah. She thinks she is. So she's all pissed. And, um, so the night of the concert. Well, we're not there yet. Yeah. Because I have the notate. Is um, we're there, but I did want to slide in. Oh, please. I want to slide yeah. inside of you. Slow. That Slow um, Mama Longchamp is um, um, diagnosed with consumption, aka TB. Yeah. It was not called consumption past the fucking 1800s. I know. That, yeah, that's where I was at. I know. It's the same oh. thing. But I just want to make sure. That I say, we haven't called it consumption yeah. since like 1900. <laughs> it's tuberculosis, which is highly fucking contagious. Yeah, but no one else got it. But not only did no one else get it, these churins did not pass it on to anyone. Like, <laughs> like I am weeping in medical science right now. <laughs> like, That's the shapes. Okay, I was confused. I <laughs> Weeks in medical science. She was. She should have been coughing up blood and shonks for the months, the months that she was sick. Yeah, but she was just like, like oh, I'm fucking sick. Oh, no. She was just like, oh, I'm just in bed. Fern should have died. Honestly. Oh yeah. Honestly. Not even been born. Or I don't know. Huh. Everyone should have gotten consumption TB. and died. T- tuberculosis. <laughs> TB. Consum- consumption. Yes, I googled Con- it. Consumption. Consumption was consumption. No- That's what they call it. What, they call you it fucking me. They call- yes. <laughs> <laughs> Such a concern in your eyes. Like, wait. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> so Dwan gets a solo. Yeah, David. Con- oh. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> it's, Do you the, the story? it's the night. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> <laughs> it's the night of the solo that Mama goes to the hospital. Yes, I know. I've been trying to say that. <laughs> like, a fucking course it is. Yeah, so, yeah, they're like, oh, we better get her in there right now. And they're like, she's got consumption. <laughs> it can ATB, which is highly contagious. Oh. Uh, um, so she's like, shit. And her mom's like, you got to go. You got to go. Go for me. Go sing. All P.S. also, don't ever hate us. And she's like, that's a fucking weird thing for my mom <laughs> well, to Jesus, say. Well, Jesus, that's a weird fucking thing to I say. I wonder what that's about. And uh, <laughs> so she gets there and Clarice is like, you know what? It's really great, actually, that you're... Doing this again. Solo. Hey, let's all get ready in the bathroom. Again, I'm sorry that I was a cunt hole. Yeah. Let's be buds. And she's like, okay. Yeah, I'll follow you in the bathroom to get ready. And then all these bitches, like, let off smoke bombs. Smoke No, stink, stink, bombs stink bombs all over her. But apparently they don't get it on themselves. Thank you! <laughs> it's like, that goes everywhere. It goes everywhere. How it's do you just, spray a stink bomb? How do you spray a spray and not get it... On, on you, you. <laughs> like they're cl- apparently clustered around Dawn, spraying her down with stink bomb. Mm. Now you go and get Good. on them. Great, get on them. Great. They were wearing stink bomb repellent, but they didn't mention it. It was noted, um, by the way, in our screaming about tuberculosis, that <laughs> Dawn's um, like band sweater fits her more snugly than around the titties. Oh yeah, she's like, oh, I got some titties. Annette Funicello's. So then, it's, like it, Louise is nice. like, oh fuck, like hey, hey, I found these new clothes for you. They don't quite fit. And she's like, I don't fucking care as long as they don't stink like shit. And then Louise goes and stuffs Don's, <laughs> Don's other sweater inside Clara Sue's, like, expensive wool coat. <laughs> so what's her tit? Louise goes and gets an extra uniform yeah. that's even snugger. <laughs> Just said that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that happens. So while that's happening, I, I had a screenshot of, like, a passage, and I was trying to figure out why the fuck I screenshotted this. <laughs> And it was because she was like, oh, why were girls like Clara Sue so cruel? They had so much. The fancy clothes they wanted. They can get their hair done, their nails, even their toenails. I know. Like a pedicure. <laughs> so Pedicures didn't exist in 1900 when there was consumption. <laughs> Dawn actually cried until her throat was raw, but somehow also sang her solo yeah, beautifully. Yeah, crushed it. She crushed it. If I can somewhere over the rainbow, dog land champs, and with long champs. She goes on a little, a little post-show date with Philip. Yep, her dad's like, all right, you guys are going to get pizza. That's fine, I guess, that's, but come That sounds on. innocent. They, and have, they, don't like, even, they get the pizza to go because it's taking too fucking long. And they have pizza kisses. Not like, And then, yeah, and Philip's like, we got to go. And then they're out there, and he just keeps like, oh, it's taking to the clearing again. I imagine He's like diddling. pizza eating. Diddling? He doesn't diddle. Does he diddle? When they drive off. 
Yeah, he like gets in her pants and she's like, please get away from my... I'm setting a boundary. Please yeah. get away from my pants. And he's just, like, he keeps being like, oh, relax. I'm just... Don't you want someone with experience to show it. you... I blocked that shit To out. show you what this is pants like. Diddling. Like, you don't want anyone to like think that you don't know what to do once you finally are ready to be with a boy. Like When you're ready to pants diddle. Oh my God. Yeah, no. And then she was like, you need to drop me home. And he's like, God damn it. No, no. Other people showed up and he was like, oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, we should have not even gone to the pizza place. And she's like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Because he was like, this is the only place I know about and she was like are you sure this isn't like a make out place he's like no 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 I just got I go to look I go look at things I go look at the view yeah he's so fucking pissed that he can't fuck so (laughs) fuck diddle schools a titty (laughs) so he goes to drop her off and like daddy longchamp and jimmy are like fucking running on the sidewalk and they're like shit we gotta go to the hospital right fucking now she's uh It's it's happening mama's feeling bad and so they get there and it's like hey sorry she died like five minutes ago it's like Wow, five minutes before you got here. There's a security guard. There's a security guard who keeps giving a, giving a, giving a strange look to Daddy Longchamp, like he, like he might. Recognize you can't him. not say it like that. Like, Longchamp. 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 He might Ormond Longchamp. I think that uh, Ormond. 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 Ormond Longchamp. Um, she's like, oh, it looks like maybe he recognized him from somewhere, and you're like, hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Like <laughs> uh-huh. statement. No follow up yet, but one page later. Yep. Hundred percent. So they're I just think like, they're like in the, it was in the night, like yeah. But it's, I think morning. it's a couple days later. It w- maybe the morning. Yeah, yeah or, something mm-hmm. undisclosed time later. There's a there's a pounding on the door, and it's the police with the uh, hospital attendant. It was just I like I yeah, recognized that's, him. That's, that's a, a fucking, fucking guy. guy. <laughs> that's a fucking guy. I'm so glad about the reward. And Don's like, what the hell are you talking about? Kidnapping. Yeah, and the the police officer were like kidnapping, and she's like, what the? Who was he supposed to kidnap? And then the security guard was like, oh, it was you, honey. Huh? It was you, honey. It was it's you, honey. honey. No, no. Don't take that tone with someone who is experiencing a trauma at that moment. Also, don't fucking call a stranger, honey. Don't call people, honey. Unless you're like an old time, like if you're a diner waitress and you're like in your 50s, honey, you can call anyone honey you want. I'm giving you permission. So it is notated that Dawn sits down with a plump policewoman, a.k.a. Officer Puddenpile. Yep. And she's just so fucking mean. Why is she so mean? Because it's undisclosed time frame. It was just so weird. Like she was such an asshole to her. Like, how dare you get yourself kidnapped as a baby? There was there was a notated a nice policeman who was like, oh man. This yeah, he was like, can we please fucking show that? Yeah, you. like, like let's ooh. just take some moments. Yeah, for you to process. Yeah, like we can. Uh. Um, Officer Puddenpile goes to pack a bag for Dawn and make sure to say, I packed what I thought was yours. There wasn't much. Fucking rude, <laughs> rude and unnecessary. Like, yeah, what, ma'am? Why are you so mean to this girl who just found out she was kidnapped when she was a baby? Where does Jimmy and Fern go? They're just like at the ho- like the hotel. A they're, home they're... for wayward children. Yeah. But they're all separated and interrogated at the police station. For <laughs> fucking... Like, why? And she doesn't see Jimmy and she's like freaking out because she feels super bad for Fern. And I felt super, very sad about that too. Because... Really? Babies don't remember shit. It's still going to be traumatic in the moment. All right. She's going to remember, like, this isn't how... She's going to have a hot minute where she is, like, nobody that I recognize is around me. Why am I at a, why am right. I at a home for wayward children? They're wayward. These wayward. Children. Um, hey, who... Who? Where? Who does she belong to? Oh, my God. She was driving, and uh, the, the lady... For a long fucking time. Oh, also, the police officer was like, yeah, your birthday is in May, and she was like, oh, this is a mistake. I was born in April, and she's like, oh, no, wait. She's like, my birth- birthday's Whatever. in June. Anyway, she finds out that she's already 15. Like, her birthday had happened, like, a month before. That's... Okay, okay. She just <laughs> turned 15. Okay. Um... <laughs> So she's like, oh, funny, like, your name was uh, Eugenia, Eugenia, Eugenia Grace, and Don's, Don's like, like wait, to bullet on that yeah, and she's one. like, well, what, uh, Where am I going? What, what's the, what's the last name? And she's like, uh, Cutler, and she's like, <laughs> what? Spit takes all over she the place. She spit takes her, like, brother kisses everywhere. Yeah, she does, and she's and, like, oh, fuck. And, and she had been, like, 
I know I said it as an offhand comment, but she had been feeling her oats. Mm -hmm. Like, she was like, I am, like, I am nervous about this, and I felt like Philip crossed the line, but, like, I'm feeling sexual feelings. Mm -hmm. I'm a teen. I'm like, cool, maybe we'll do some titty touching, and, like, I feel very special about you and my parts. But still trying to, like, keep him at right, right, right. Like, she's just like, so, you need to... Re she was like, like, I'm cool to figure this out, but fucking boundaries. Don't go straight in dry fingies. <laughs> oh, why did I say that? It's your fault. You're bad at what's <laughs> <funny. laughs> um, So, obviously, they were... They had a connection that was love or sibling time. You know what? Sometimes it's both. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, she goes to live with the cutlers. Yeah, they're like... uh. Oh, I guess they own this fucking huge hotel in I Cutler's guess. Cove. Quest. <laughs> this cove was named after them. Yeah, this, the whole cove is the named after cove. them. So, uh, hey, it looks like it's great. You're going to be rich. And she's like, I don't fucking care. Where's my family? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, the, there's a matriarch. Grandmother Cutler. Grandmother Cutler. Um, and and Dawn's like, where's my mom? Her real mom is having, like, a quote-unquote another breakdown. And this is... The third rich woman who's emotionally unstable. Oh, yeah. Corinne, Jillian, and now her mom, Laura Sue. Laura Sue. Laura Sue. I know. Sally Jean, Laura Sue, Sally Clara Jean, Sue. Laura Sue, Clara Sue, and Kitty Kitty got a fee fa foo fa Yeah, so this is a rich woman who's emotionally unstable because I think because she's beautiful. Yeah, that's what happens. So you're obsessed with your image or your ugly business lady. Yeah. For your personality type. Yep, that's it. So I You're guess a I'm, delicate, wilting flower. So I guess I, if we have to go personality, I am a puddin pile who is a business type. Mm -hmm. Great. Is there a third? Not right now. Okay. You're either um, hysterical yeah. or all business. Uh, That's a hard shit. one for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, depends on the day. <laughs> right now... I don't know. <laughs> you know, I thought it'd be easy to say. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, manic with like a like a little swipe of depression on there. Um, um, but mm -mm. Mm. go. I don't. So know. She I, shows up like they they bring her through a freaking like back entrance to this hotel. She I meets don't have grandmother. To that. Oh wow. Nope. I got you. So oh, close, they go through this close. back entrance. She meets grandmother Cutler, who's like instantly a fucking cunt. Like mm. she's like, oh, it is so inconvenient for you to show up like this. When the police brought you. We're about to start the busy season. <laughs> well, this is inconvenient. You can't go back to school this year because uh, you're going to be fucking embarrassing. You're going to be embarrassed. And uh, you're going to be a chambermaid because everyone like works up from the top. Here's your closet to sleep in. Your name is Eugenia. Okay. So also, she was like, you didn't wake up at the ass crack of dawn. Well, she provided an alarm clock. No. But new dad eventually talks to her that same night, though. Yeah. And he's like, got awkward hellos. And he's like... Uh, I'm excited to see that you're such a pretty girl, too. I can, like, ah, we didn't see you since you are a baby. I'm so glad you didn't turn out ugly. Like, no one is like, no one's really like, I think, her new dad, her father, she calls him father and mother instead of, like, daddy mama. Um, Randolph. Randolph. He Randolph? does, he does acknowledge, like, this must be a lot for you. Yeah. But he's also not willing to do fucking shit. He is always, like, busy, busy papers, pinky ring. Did you note the pinky yeah, ring? Yeah, pinky ring. Pinky ring. So he's always like zip zapping around. He's always just kind of like non specifically busy. And new, uh, yeah, her mom's too fragile. We'll talk to her. Very. All the servants fucking hate her because Grandmother Cutler fired someone who was doing a good job to make a spot for Dawn. It's a tight ship. It is crazy. And then she goes to see her mother, who's like basically a wisp of a person in bed. Magazines, chocolate, silk, and a robe. Nice. Yep. I mean, I'd like, I'd like that. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's, like, got her hair done and her makeup, and she's wearing jewelry. She's in the parental suite, and I, it was not noted. So I I need to know, are the carpets yeah. as thick as marshmallow? Obviously. Obviously. Mm -hmm. They're made of marshmallow this time. Dawn takes a little walk at some point and finds her own grave, so I hope she enjoys that. Yeah, she was like, what the... What the fuck? When she meets her mother, her mother's like, Laura Sue, it's like... The nurse held you more than I did. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Woof. Wow. Maybe you don't need to mention that. I barely got to know you because I was too... And couldn't be fucked. she was like, clean yourself up before you come in here. You look gross. And she was like, I was immediately put to work as a fucking chambermaid. I'm a little sweaty. And she's like, ew. 
And she's like, oh, yeah, Grandmother Cutler just, like, whatever. It is noted that Grandmother Cutler sauntered coolly about like a queen, which is really the energy I feel like I need to bring into every situation. Yeah. Sauntering. Coolly. You're a saunterer. Yeah. 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 Um, are when... Uh, I, I don't have... I have that, um... I got, uh... Dawn found, like, some secret doors. Yeah, yeah. She found some secret doors. Because she's trying to... Yeah. Into more secret doors. Yeah, I don't... Thank you. I, I'm trying to picture the... It's like a Russian nesting doll of doors. I'm trying to picture the architecture... Rather. Yeah, I could plan, not. Plan, blueprint. I don't know. Well, she went into a secret big... door, and then into another secret door. There's two parts of the hotel, too, like, where... Where the guests stay, and then, like, the... What they call, like, the old hotel where the family stays. But Dawn stays in the fucking, like... Shit part. Basement next to the kitchen. It's not a real basement. There's basement later. It's basement times later. Mm. Mm. So she goes up there and she finds, like, clippings about her abduction. Yeah, because she's, she's like, like no I won't talk about what the no hell one, happened. No one will talk to yeah, her about Yeah, she's like, this. how did this happen? There was, like, a nurse. Can I have some closure, this please? This place is full of people. Like, how, like some, something ain't right here. And Grandmother Cutler comes up and she's like, blah, 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 blah. Gram Grim Cutler is a shover. Yeah, she's she a shover. She shoves. So I thought that was fun. And she's like, what the fuck is this creamy pearl necklace on your neck? And she snatches her pearls. Snatches the pearls. She's like, all I know is that I haven't seen these pearls since the day you were taken. <laughs> um, so, gosh, that's going to be awkward. So so now now her new siblings re-enter. And here's what they do. Mm-hmm. Philip says, can we still sexy smile at each other? And Clara Sue says, I'm your sister. You have to trust me. Yeah. yeah. So here's a fun little bit. That I have that I'd like to for a, a sidebar. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oops. So it's a uh, Clara Sue talking. Was Philip your first boyfriend? She asked. I nodded. I haven't had a real boyfriend yet. She said. Oh, I will. You're. Oh, you will. You're a very pretty girl. I know that. She said, shaking her head. It's not that I couldn't have a boyfriend. There have been a number who've wanted to be, but I don't like anyone enough. So, Clara Sue, it's noted that her baby fat is developing into a voluptuous look. So, she enters a new body type sidebar, which is sexy pudding. Mm, sexy pudding. Sexy pudding. So, hashtag sexy, sexy. I call sexy pudding. Yeah. Don't put that, make sure we get that in there. Yeah. Well, I feel like there's still the main three, but now we're developing sexy pudding. Okay. She's developing sexy pudding. She's developing sexy pudding. It is noted. It is no- noted in the record of time. Yeah. Daddy Cutler has a paper, a pinky ring, and he's paper shuffling. Um, there's at one point where Dawn dresses up, I think, for uh, Grandma Cutler's uh, birthday. She wants to show off those sexy ears of hers. <laughs> she mentions her ears being, like, attractive. I, did, I skimmed over that. <laughs> that was, not, that was not, not worth noting for me. How could you not think about what an oddball fucking thing to say? Uh, I don't actually. I don't know because there are there are so, so many so little oddball things to say. I should have noticed that one. Ugh. Um, uh, they also like make her play the piano, like in the go, sitting go, the sitting the room yeah. of mother's bed while she's her wilted sweet, in there. Yeah. Yes. Um, and Clara Sue becomes a sexy puddin' hog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She like like puts up her like is like and like taunts her like like a sexy puddin'. I don't know hog. <laughs> Um, and when her mom uh, hugs her, what does she smell like? Jasmine. 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 Gross. I actually don't remember what Jasmine smells like. I don't want, I to, don't want to ever again. I don't need to know. Great. I'm going to think of wilty, wilty, wispy mothers who are just like, please, all this unpleasantness. I need to see a doctor now. It's Graham Graham Cutler's birthday. Yep. And Dawn very smartly goes for the emotional present. Well, also, she's like, I've been working all the fucking time. You told me there are parties tonight. I don't, I can't buy anything. You know what? You know what, though? I want her to like me. I'm going to do something special. She finally, thank the fuck Christ, washed her hair for this party. <laughs> it was notated <laughs> that she, her hair was gross and greasy and ugly. Greasy. greasy and ugly. So she washed it and brushed it till it shone. Till it shone. Till it shone. Till it shone. Like flax and gold flax. Uh, yeah. Um... Grandma Cutler is on a very nearly literal throne. Yeah. yeah. Um, the end. Um, people give her gifts um, and Dawn sings and Grandma Cutler does not give two fucking farts but has to pretend she does, which I may do. And she barely does, though. She even barely, She's like, is that it? Move on. Move. 
But it's also noted that, like, all the guests are like, because <sighs> every time John sings, apparently she goes into, like, a trance state. She do that. Throws her head back and just, I'm well of the rainbow. Yes. She's on her own, like, private American Idol. Yep. Audition. Yep. I think a lot of the people are. That's how I drive. Um, nice. Same. Same. Uh, Philip. Philip takes her to his, like, um, basement. Like, a secret basement. His cellar of, like, creeper vibes. Oh, just yeah. to just score the titty. He just wants to score the titty. He's just like, I want to show you down here. Like, if you ever need to Isn't get away, cool? you should come down here. And she's like, thanks. And thinking, like, maybe he's really going to act like a brother. No, nope. honk. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I just, I just wanted to see if I could hold you like a brother. Big fucking nope on that one. Ugh. Sidebar, yes, a VC brother. Um, fucking VC brother. And then he, like, turns the lights off and, like, squozes a titty again. And is like, just kidding! Yeah. 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 He was like, LOL, honk. <laughs> and she's like, can you, can you put... She's like, you're my fucking... Why do you think this is cool, dude? Gross. I just want to squoze in the dark. You know, I mean, I do too. I mean, yeah. So but not a related squoze. Not in a relation... Uh, Grandmother Cutler gets hint of this and says, um, like, what was, what were you fucking doing? Clara Sue's been saying shit. Because obviously Clara Sue's been uh, fucking saying fucking shit. Starting all the shit. Um, and Grandmother Cutler says, Philip is a healthy young man. And like all young men, is not on like a wild horse just <laughs> finding his legs. Ugh. Um, and she says, uh, you are not without un- a- attractive feminine characteristics. The sort <laughs> most men find irresistible. Therefore... Most of the responsibility for proper behavior will depend on you. No. No. <laughs> no. Hey, if anyone ever tries to tell you that, no. No. Mm-mm. No. No, you are not responsible for someone else feeling a way about you if you just live in your fucking life. Especially when you're like, hey, no thank you. Would you have laid a clear fucking boundary? I don't care what you look like or where, what you're fucking wearing. You used your words. Someone needs to listen to your... Oh, someone needs to listen to your words. Oh, we haven't brought up that she, her birth name was Eugenia. And, yeah. No, you did. Oh. But that oh. grandmother Cutler is fucking insisting that her name is Eugenia. Which is like her sister who died from smallpox when Whatever. she was like it's nine. And Dawn's like, I mean, no. Thank yeah. you. No, thank you. <laughs> Call me Dawn. And, but she's like very defiant. Which something to do. Um, so she gets like starved into a name change. Yeah, basically. She's like, go to your fucking room and don't come out, and you have no food until you accept this name tag of Eugenia. Mm-hmm. Um, she started into a name change, and Dawn then starts, like, working nervous mom for the tea. Mm-hmm. For the tea. It's true. And she's nervous like, mom. I need to fucking know why. And I guess Sally Jean had a stillborn. There was, like, a stillborn Dawn to live Dawn exchange. Yeah, they were, they were like, I don't know, she stole you because... They stole you because they just lost a baby. Yeah. And they were going to name it Dawn. And she's like, oh, that's really sad, but I still don't get it. Like, it doesn't, things aren't adding up for me. Yeah. And us, the reader, like, the only reason I know things aren't adding up for you is because you said it, because I would have just taken that as a... Face value. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Um, so Dawn's being, like, starved. Um, she gets no food until she accepts the name tag of Eugenia. Big old fucking brass nameplate. Yeah. It's like it's like an 8 by 10 she's gonna wear. <laughs> Clara Sue comes by and like is like eating fucking chocolate croissants and Dawn's like you're a fucking pudding. Yeah. She's like you're fucking fat. She's like I, I'm Kurt and she's like no people fucking tell you that so you feel better. Like she's just getting nasty it's with gr- her. Which I'm into. I am too because Clara Sue's a fucking bitch. Um, she didn't need to be like that. Clara Sue calls her a stubborn little brat but I 100 misread it as stillborn little brat. <laughs> so I had a little, a little moment to myself on that one. A little chuckle time. A little chuckle time. Um, something goes missing. Jules, jewelry. Oh yeah. Jewelry goes missing, mm-hmm. and uh, old lady color goes into Dawn for a full body fucking cavity. Yeah. Stretch. And it's like, take off your fucking underwear, open your hole. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't say that. She basic. No, she basically does. She's waiting for a necklace to drop out. Of Dawn's I, vaginal I went, butthole. I went at Tia with two fingers as though I was gonna insert them inside of her. But like a little bit of a claw, too, was good. Pickle it's claw? like a claw machine. Pickle claw. Toilet paper claw. Pickle claw. Toilet paper claw. No jewelry falls out of her various orifices. And she's like, <laughs> she gets locked in her room. She gets locked in her room. 
this is a fucking crime, is it not? Like, it's a legit crime. It's holding against, like, yeah. whatever. I thought, you meant, I thought you meant her not stealing the necklace. I was like, it wasn't. FYI, it's a fucking crime to lock someone. It's a false imprisonment. That's mm-hmm, right. mm-hmm. False imprisonment. False imprisonment. Um, and it's, like, about the name change and the jewelry somehow together. And she's talking to Randolph through the door. And he's <sighs> like, eh. And he's like, I don't know. And then Philip, like, later opens the door. And he's like, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Yeah, the he key was, was in the door. Because he was like, let me talk to, let me talk to mother. And I'm sure we can Randolph figure something out. Fucking. He's, like, up his mother's He is still. mommy whipped. He is mommy whipped. He's Cutler whipped. <gasps> Grandmother Cutler! Oh! <laughs> Grandmother Cutler! Oh. oh, that was like my John Anus. I came up with one. The, uh... <laughs> Disconnect. Um, I'm not gonna. So, Philip is like, come with me to the fucking creeper cellar. And she's like, fuck it. No, I told you. I told you. I told you. Do titty. not honk me. Honk. Do not honk me or bonk me. Um, but Jimmy's there, and he's wet and is manly now. Yeah. He's and wet manly. She's like, oh my god, he's grown so much in the two weeks it's been since I saw him. He's wet and manly. He ran away from his abusive foster family. Wow, Katie. Wow. <laughs> um, she has brother-based tingle pants. But she knows, at this point, they know they're not brother But come on! No, I know, I know, I know. But in her mind, she's like, maybe that is why I was kind of attracted to him. It's like, somehow I knew that it like wasn't gross, but it is totally still gross because we never... And we're, uh. So Don never gets any smarter about Clara Sue, like Clara Sue's like sneaking around in the in the subtext. And, yeah, she um, just like is up at the top of the stairs. She sees Jenny. That's right. Um, right, and then she's like, "Keep our secret," and she's like, "Okay." Like do you, she's like, "You have to clean my room." That's right. And this, like, I believe that Don and Jimmy had like a little tiny bit of a makeout, but then like they, they did freaked because out. Yeah, she um. She's there, like, I always man. felt this way. And she's like, mm, okay. All right. And uh, more sexual agency from Dawn. She takes Jimmy's hand and places it on her bazoom. Bazoom. Her bazoom bazoom. Um, they have moaning. They have moaning bed kissy time. Yeah. At, like, 15 and 16. Caught. The fucking caught in the weird basement bomb in shelter. In the weird basement. Um, so they actually went from, like, moving a millimeter at a time. <laughs> To wanted to slam bangers into whammers. Yeah, and then like, Don's like, oh, I felt oh. his boner, and I freaked out because I was like, oh shit, oh, uh, I remember when we were tiny. And so then she goes to leave. Claire Sue's at the top of this. Ah, what are you doing? Ha ha! Shit eating grin. Clean my room. And then she's like, totally get it. We're sisters. Like, I do want to be friends. How many times, Don? How many fucking times? Uh, this time, I think that's it. Up to this time. So she's like, has to clean all day. Like she's got extra stuff to do. She really wants to like get out, go see Jimmy because she convinced him to stay another night so they can see each other. So she wants to just go see him and like, you know, kind of like say goodbye off. Like not really necessarily, you know, for bangers and whammers, but like, hey, he's going off somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to see him again. I think he said he's going to join the Air Force, Navy, Army, something like that. Yeah. Armed Forces. And she's like, what about college? And he's like, look. He's like. He said he was originally heading to uh, Papa Lon Chong's chef's family. That's right. Yeah, to go like to the farm. Georgia. Yeah, to the farm. Um, Even though apparently Georgia is like one one spot in Georgia. It's like a mile square town. And you just go to Georgia and say, hey. The the farm. I'm looking for the farm in Georgia. They're like, oh, it's right fucking there. Long champ, long champ. Right over there. Long champ, long champ. Can I pronounce it long champ? If I can say that. If I can say that. This champ is long if I can say that. Yeah. So they kind of make like a little datey date. So she has to go clean Clara Sue's room. And she's getting ready for her datey date. And who is lurking in her little, little private bathroom? Well, she, yeah, she goes, she's about to get in the shower because she's, like, just fucking worked so hard. She yeah, needs to get, and she needs to wash her fucking hair. Yeah, and uh, Philip's in there. And he's fucking so angry. He's so proud of it because he's like, it's not fair. I want to do more than titty touch when we were in the car. I wanted to do more than touch a titty. Ugh. So he does a big old rape. He does a big, like. It is, it is way more graphic than other rapes. A little bit, but apparently there's, like, it seemed to me, I read it was like a tooth rust and she was screaming fucking bloody murder yeah, yeah, and his yeah. cock shriveled up and he ran away. Yeah. But again, it is like, it's more protract. Like, like if we're calling back to when Lee was raped, it was like, oh, and then, and then he was like into the thing and then it was done. 
But there was like a lot more drawn out, yeah, like it was, eating hickeys and titty sucking. It, and it like, was really bad. He's just like trying to get away from him. Yeah. And like he starts it too, just being like, you know, I just, I really, we're going to be, it's going to be fine. I and then did he was wa- just, I did want to squeeze a titty. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you're naked. Cool. And she's like, this is my fucking bed. Yeah. And he's like, that's what. <sighs> It's, like, so fucking unfair to him that before they knew they were brother and sister, he didn't get to fuck her. Like, that's the ultimate in unfairness. It was really upsetting. Like, that, that and my, like, adrenaline. I was like, no, 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 no. I mean, of course you know, dear listener, if you've read any of these books or listened to any of these podcasts, something that fucking so happens. So she flipped her shit and Philip runs away and then she still has to, like, pretend that that didn't happen and go see Jimmy. Mm-hmm. But uh, the police are there to take Jimmy away. Yeah, like four seconds after she gets in there and, like, Man, sees him. Claire Sue is suck-ass. Uh, Graham's eyes are wide with rage. <laughs> and then she's like, John's like, I'm not a wild animal, you're a wild animal. I yeah. love it. I yeah. love her, like, just fucking Because well, she's like, this bitch, I mean, if she's supposed to be my grandmother, why didn't she fucking love me? Clearly she didn't read Flowers in the Attic. Uh, I think she she then confronts Clara Sue, and Clara Sue gets big mad, and sh- she says, like, hurting you makes me feel good. Why do I want yeah. your forgiveness? I was like, I'm kind of into that. Fair enough point for someone you fucking hate. Why do I care if you forgive me? Yeah. She was, she was like, like, I'll never forgive you for this. And she's like, why the fuck do I care? Yeah, she's like, we're never going to be sisters. I'm always going to try to ruin your life. Dawn. Cl- like, clearly. <laughs> First of all, clearly from... Jump Street. From the beginning, this is like a fact. Second of all, stating now, I just, I love the idea of someone being a fucking bitch and then being like, well, I'll never forgive you for this. And you're just like, why do I care? Yeah. Like, you don't factor into this at all except me forgiving your feelings. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, girl. Yeah, but I also hate her. Um, Nurse Dalton tells all. Nurse yeah, so, yeah, Dawn tries to figure out, like, why the heck, like, who is this nurse who was uh, supposedly, like, staying in this room? She talked to Mrs. Boston, who was, like, the head of the housekeeping, yes. and she's like, yeah, I don't she's know, it's like, Nurse Dalton. She's trying to just, get, like, pieces. It just doesn't gel that this loving couple, Sally Jean and Ormond, mm-hmm. like, that they would fucking steal a baby, and it doesn't gel to her that these are very caring Yeah, folks. and her, her new, her mother, the new mother, is just like... What was that? Laura Sue acts fucking weird, oh. and Don's like, "What the hell?" Like, he's like, "She's like, it's really convenient that you look amazing, but anytime someone brings up something you don't want to talk about, you're like, oh my god, call the doctor. I'm gonna die." So she gets uh, someone to say, "Miss Dalton and uh, Sissy, who is she works with Don there? Yeah, like, another yeah. another chambermaid." <laughs> she's like, "Please show me where this is," and she's like, "No," and she's like, "I just need to talk to her. You don't have to come with me. Just show me where it is." So she goes to talk to... Who's he? Nurse Dalton. Who's Dalton? Nurse Dalton is, like, diabetic and, like, fucking laid up in a chair. And she's like, this is my burden. Too bad. I knew you would come. Because she's a magical Negro. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, again, the only people of color are the maids, the servants, the nurses. Like, also, like, like what? Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got, you got words. It's just like, I didn't know you was doing that. Like, why the? Fa- mm, this is so unnecessary. Like the black, just, the black scent. Yes, it's so fucking unnecessary. So Nurse Dalton, she's in a wheelchair and she's got like no leg. I don't know. And she's about to lose the legs from from the diabetes. The diabetes. And she lives with her son and his wife. Facts you don't really. Facts have you don't them. need. Yeah. Why do I need that? Here's where I am now. Oh, and she finds out, too, she's like, wait a minute, you were the nanny also when Clara Sue was born? So I guess you didn't get fucking fired when she's I got like, kidnapped. Why didn't, they, why, mm. why didn't you get kidnapped after I was... Fired. Why didn't you get fired? <laughs> why didn't you get kidnapped after I was fired? <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's that. Dalton's like, you know what? Fine. Fine. Your, your mother was a whore. Your mother was a fucking whore. And she fucked around quite a bit. And, and she uh, helped this guy behind the pool house. <laughs> like, the lounge musician for the hotel. They fucked behind the pool house. And the only reason they know this is because two other servants went to fuck behind the pool house. And saw Laura Sue and this mystery man fucking. also fucking behind the pool house. It must be why she's such a good singer. Yep, she's like, oh, my daddy was musical. Cool. 
So I, and me, at this, I was like, dude, we're on dad three in the right? first, on dad three. We're on dad three in the first book. Three dads. I know. It's not my three dads. My three dads. So I feel like she goes after Laura Sue for this. Yeah, she just goes, she busts in and she's like, fucking. She's like, fuck you and your fucking made up. Yep. Fucking bullshit sickness. Oh, but also it's sad because they they convinced um, Ormond and Sally Jean that no one wanted Dawn because of what was going on. So they they took her thinking. This is a legitimate adoption. Well, mean, meanwhile, no one told Randolph, and he was actually really yes. upset. That's why they. That's why Grandma Cutler put a grave up because he would fly across the country. Yeah, trying to looking find for her. his kidnapped child. Mm-hmm. Was not really a child. It's not really sound. Anyways. Yeah. Um. So she's like a super illegitimate singer's baby, or failed abortion. We don't know. Um. I don't think it was that. Yeah, it was that. Um, so she gets all up, she tries to, she tries to get all up in Laura Sue's face, and Laura Sue's like, I don't do anything around here. Um, and then she, uh, has to go to another VC trope, which is Summer Sessions. Oh, she, well, she has it out with fucking Grandma. Grandmother Cutler. They have it out. She was just like, you gotta fucking stop treating me like shit. I'm gonna tell people that your fresh, precious family name is gonna like oh oh who's the bitch now? Not Eugenia. It's Dawn. It's not Eugenia. It's Dawn. And your mother colors like all right. You know what? All you right. You it. fucking know what? I ha- I happen to know this person. You, I at, at performing since you are so good with the singing, as has been noted in the record, <laughs> you will go to summer sessions at the summer session school of performing arts. And Sarah Bernhardt School Sarah in Bernhardt. New York. And Dawn's like, all right, that's sick. I was like. You know, I thought that was a pretty good deal for Dawn. Mm-hmm. She gets to go to, like, performing arts school. That's cool. Like, that's a pretty fucking good deal. Yeah, she's like, I don't have to hang out here in the fucking hotel with all these weirdos. With my, and, like, like, rapist brother. My rapey brother, my shit cunt mother, and my wispy... Cunt sister. <laughs> my wispy bed mother, my shitty sister, um, and my dad is like... I don't know, I've got pinky rings and papers to shuffle around. Um, shuffle pinky rings and papers. So she, as she packs, she gives it to Philip verbally. And he's like, why did grandmother send you away? Subtext, did you tell her I fucking raped you? Mm-hmm. And then she, uh, she literally says, don't you place this blame on me. Yeah. She's like, this is 100 your fault. <laughs> we're we're fine. Yeah, she's like, this is fucking your fault. Whatever you're feeling is your fucking fault. Because mm-hmm. you done did a rapins. Yeah, she's like, if you feel bad and you're worried that someone's going to find out, maybe Don't you shouldn't people. have fucking done that. The Thank end. You. And she gets a call from Jimmy right before she leaves. <laughs> that was the end of my note, by the way. <laughs> was. And then she's gone. And he was like, he's in a much better spot. Um, I think he's actually with a different, he was with a different foster family. He didn't make it to, because he took, got taken away by the police and they just put him with a different foster family. But like, they're fine. They're just normal. And they basically decide to date later. And then she's like, I'm going, going to a plane. Another time where someone's just like going off on a plane just, to somewhere else at the end. Yeah. It's like, it's a lot. Mm. I feel like we have just scream breeze through it. Yeah. There's like a lot of like, I think, do you know what she did? What she do? She went from dirt poor to diamond rich. Oh! It's a fish out of water story, really. <laughs> do you want to read one of these? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I these are them. the these are the we got our um, Oprah book club. Yeah, that we abandoned after the first yeah, episode. Yeah. You know what? This is the first episode of another thing. This is an easy one. Okay. Would you consider rereading this? And why or why not? Fuck yeah, that was fucking fun. Uh, yeah, I did like the first. I, I blew through it this went one. so fast it went so fast I was very how interested many, how many rapins are gonna happen and how many titties are gonna be squoze how many dads is she gonna have how many dads so no, yeah no it was a fast one yeah I like yeah I would yeah. Re- read it again especially Not if someone was like it because we're, we're both we're both on the third in the series and agreed moments ago that it was a fucking drag yeah it's hard the third one is we don't know what we're gonna talk about because we haven't fucking finished already yeah already. we might not ever finish it and we'll just stop in some of those are there lingering questions from this book you're still thinking about? I think there are lingering, qu- lingering questions Lingo. that probably span out over the path of maybe four other books. 
Yeah, I, yeah, that's actually a hard one because like you don't know what the questions are. Yeah, questions. yeah, because it's one story ba- break breaking up breaking up five parts. I'm gonna mention this in the first episode about the Cutlers. Okay. The fifth book is gonna be a prequel, like it is. I know. And it's gonna be fucking Lillian, the grandmother Cutler. I give zero shits about her. I'm like mad already. That might I'm mad already. That might be one of the reasons why I can't read the third book because I don't want to get to the fucking fifth book. Just like you felt about uh, Olivia. Olivia, where you were just like, I don't need to know what made her evil. Yeah, no, fuck Grandmother Cutler. She was worse. She was worse than Olivia Foxworth. Fucking worse. Um, I'm sorry that happened. Worse. I'm sorry that's happening to you right now. If like, you could just, on par with if Tony. If you could just lay back and take it. Listen. Listen. Relax. Till next time. <laughs> No. Wait, you want to keep going? Nope. <laughs> put a pin in this? Goodbye. Do you want to put a pin in this? <laughs> Should we put, a pin? Put, a, put a dick in it. Put a dick in it. Oh. Uh. Thanks for listening to Beastie Pieces podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Technical support is provided by Boo and Matt. Thanks for answering all of my stupid questions. Music used is Dust in the Attic by Broken MC under a free to comment license. Email us at vcspiecespodcast at gmail.com with your thoughts and comments. You can also follow us on Instagram. We are at Pieces Pieces Podcast. New episodes are released every other Friday to give you time to read along. In the meantime, settle into the cove, find your real dad. Oh, and uh, don't forget, douse yourself liberally in Philip repellent. Ugh.